King Cheops, builder of the Great Pyramid, commanded the carving of these words. The image of this god is carved from stone, and it is solid. With its face towards the east, it lives for eternity and all time. Today, archaeologists and historians teach that the pyramids and the Sphinx were built at the same time. Now, one man says he has proof that the experts are wrong and the ancient myths are true. The Sphinx is far older than the pyramids. The pyramids of ancient Egypt, four and a half thousand years old, still the greatest stone monuments of the world. And in their shadow, the Sphinx, gazing into the dawn. The mystery of this colossus has been deepening ever since Napoleon's soldiers first found the huge head rising from the Sahara Desert in 1798. Visitors have marveled ever since. A traveler in 1873 described it, older than history, the monster lies like a watchdog looking over to the east as if for some dawn that has not yet risen. Archaeologists looking for clues as to who built the Sphinx and when started excavations around it in 1925, clearing away all the desert sand. Digging revealed the enormous lion's body of the statue, 240 feet long and deeply eroded by time. Under the sand, the archaeologists found signs of worship and activity around the Sphinx, going back 4,500 years. It seemed reasonable to suppose the Sphinx was built then, during the earliest dynasties of ancient Egypt, at the time of the pyramids. But one man disagrees and says he has proof that the Sphinx's body was carved out much, much earlier. History must be rewritten. The demonstration that the Sphinx is much older than dynastic Egypt, by many, many thousands of years, throws into disrepute, as it were, our whole notion of ancient history and of the evolution of human civilization. It means that a sophisticated civilization was in place at a time when, according to orthodox belief, we were barely descending out of the trees. The tourist traps of Egypt today, an unlikely place to find a radical new view of history, pushing the dawn of civilization back by thousands of years. Bye -bye. But John Anthony West is an unlikely sort of historian. He's a self-taught man with no dis and he's not a member of any history department. But he does have a passionate attachment to ancient Egypt. Hard to say. Probably okay here. Yes. No, 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 I have enough. I have to go catch the plane. I have to go to Cairo in one hour. I have to go to Cairo one hour. He earns his living as a tour leader but an unorthodox one, ignoring the book and presenting instead his own view of the past. He tells his clients that ancient Egyptians did not create the world's first great civilization, and that there was an even earlier, more sophisticated culture. His method is also heretical, part psychic intuition and part showmanship. Well, I got ripped off as usual, but I got, well, no, 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 I got ripped off, but you know, I mean, that's part of the game. I, you know, others do it better than I do, but I've only been coming here after all for 16 years. You can't expect me to have learned the secrets of bargaining. He's the academic's nightmare. Okay, gang, let's go. What you have now are whole tours of...